Hello and back again to a new episode about controller madness. Today I want to show you the new features coming with a new driven by MOS extension for the Push 2. So a lot of people ask me about why don't you do a polyphonic sequencer and that's what I did. So if you see here you can now press the note button and the view is slightly a little bit rearranged. All the sequencers were moved up there so you can select them now here in the upper row. Here you have your play views and you have some two pages. And what is now new is here you have a poly sequencer and if you select the poly sequencer you see you have the play view you know already in the lower part and in the upper part can be used for sequencing so if you create a new clip like this you see the sequencer is starting the resolution is also like you know it before from the other sequencers but the difference is now what you need to do is you need to play something so if you play a chord now and you can simply put it in there so you see you have the chord you played in there you can play something else like one note as well do it like this and you can also change the resolution so let's say we go to 32s so very nice and quickly to insert some polyphonic sounds you can change that So pretty quickly you can get some results and some nice melodies with these things or some rhythmic chords. And what you can also do now is you can press the clip. As you know you have some, some clip options but you can press it again. This works sadly only on the push 2 and you will get a few of your current MIDI clip. And this MIDI clip follows your sequencer you have ready. So for example we create a new one and you will see if we have only one note. You play it and it will follow and adjust the size automatically of this note. You see you can also create notes outside of the region. So then you can change the region. It's also interesting. You can play another new chord and set it here and you see it gets automatically adjusted. And you can also use this view for your existing clips and get a better idea what's going on without looking at your computer screen. So I hope you enjoyed this very short tutorial and these two new very interesting features with the Push2 script and make some funky music.